everyone, this is Shivangi. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I will be trying out K Beauty Hydrating Foundation. And this is a new launch, of course. I bought the shade 120 Wild Light. And I bought this shade on a whim, guys. I'm the worst when it comes to choosing foundation shades online. I've had a bad experience in the past as well. But this shade did look like it will match my skin tone. So here, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I've only swatched it on my hand. And it looked like a decent match. But let's see if it's gonna suit my skin or not and I'm of course going to show you the application I will tell you about the coverage and everything about this foundation basically this foundation retails for 1200 rupees price tag kind of puts it in the mid-range category like it's not on the cheaper side of the drugstore category I would call it a mid-range foundation I'm honestly quite excited to use this because I do have a dry skin and this is one of the first foundations by an Indian brand which is claiming to be high Hydrating. So let's see how this goes. The packaging of the foundation is of course classic K-beauty packaging. It comes in a glass bottle which is quite sturdy and of course it is a pump bottle so that's a good thing. So I need to clip up my crazy fringes. I'm gonna do that and then come back. All right, I'm all clipped up and set. Now, I'm not going to use any concealer because we will find out what kind of coverage this foundation gives, but I will use a primer. I've only applied a moisturizer and a sunscreen a few hours ago, so we're gonna start with the primer first. I'll use e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Okay, priming is done. Now let's begin with the application of the foundation. First, I'm going to take just one pump of foundation at the back of my hand and we'll figure out how much coverage it gives with one pump. I am going to use a beauty blender. The consistency of the foundation is just like any other foundation. It's neither too thick nor too thin. So this is a one layer of foundation. Now this is definitely a medium coverage foundation. I would in fact say it's somewhere in between sheer to medium coverage. Uh, it looks very natural on the skin. Like it does not even look like I have applied foundation. So I like that. But if I'm using just one layer, I'll definitely use concealer because um, I still have a little bit of darkness around this area. And you know, my under eyes as well are not covered properly. So I'm going to put one more layer and then tell you. Also, I think the shade looks fine. I think it does match my skin tone. Maybe like 0.5% lighter than my skin tone, but I can work with it. Like there's no drastic change between my skin tone and this foundation. Now putting on another layer. So this is two layers of foundation and this is definitely a medium coverage foundation guys like uh, you can build it up only to a certain extent not too much it is not going to give you full coverage so if you've got like darker areas on your skin tone which you definitely have to conceal just the foundation is not going to cut it but it is definitely a lightweight foundation because I have applied two layers of foundation but it does not feel like I've applied two layers of foundation my skin does feel like skin and if we talk about the hydrating factor it is not really feeling tight on my skin or dry on my skin it does feel quite hydrating and light I honestly like the foundation so far I don't have too many complaints I'm going to set it up now to set my base I'll use Maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade light so what happens with a lot of foundations is that the moment you set them they become completely matte even if they claim to be hydrating or dewy the only dewy foundation which I've seen does not turn completely matte even after setting it is Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So far this foundation has given a very nice natural kind of a sheen on my skin. So let's set it and then we'll find out if that glowy dewy effect is still there. Alright, 
So after setting, it has become quite matte, but I love the fact that it is still looking very natural on my skin. We'll definitely figure out the final finish after I use a setting spray because if you don't use a setting spray in the end, then your makeup can look cakey. So I am going to finish up my entire makeup and then give you my final thoughts on this product. I'm going really fast, I feel. But yeah, let me just finish up all the makeup. I'm not going to, of course, use any other base product or any other powder or nothing just need to do my contouring my brows my eyes and my lips <laughs> so <laughs> i'll finish all that and come back and give you my final thoughts about this foundation i'll use the setting spray with you guys okay so be back in a minute for you it's not going to be a minute for me it's going to be approximately 15 minutes so i'll be back and I'm back after finishing up my makeup guys and it is looking quite good I must say. The foundation did not oxidize or anything. I've still not used the setting spray and while I was going through my stack uh, of setting sprays I realized that I don't really have a matte or just a normal setting spray. I do have MAC Fix Plus but I could not find it. I found this Smashbox Primer Water. This is what I'm going to use right now. It is hydrating but it does not give any extra dewiness to the skin or anything. So let's use the primer water and then see if it's gonna make any difference. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I've kept my fringes up so that you can really see the finish of the foundation because I know my fringes do cover half of my face. But anyway, this is the final finish of my makeup and my base. As I told you, Smashbox Primer Water is more of a hydrating setting spray. It did not add any extra dewiness the base just looks very nice and healthy it does not look dry now talking about the foundation i would say it is definitely a hydrating foundation it is super lightweight on the skin it does give a natural finish but do not be under the impression that it is going to give you a solid glossy dewy finish it won't it's more of a comfortable foundation than a dewy foundation so you need to know what you're signing up for overall i do love this product and after finishing up my foundation i did realize that even though i did not use any concealer the makeup is not looking bad at all like it's looking quite natural no cakiness at all no heavy feeling nothing of that sort if you've got heavy dark circles or pigmentation on the skin or blemishes on the skin this is not going to cover all that this is mostly everyday kind of a lightweight foundation it is a really good product guys it does not even oxidize like i've had this on for about half an hour i did finish my makeup in 15 minutes then i got on a call so it's been a little over half an hour and it has not oxidized on my skin the color also suits my skin tone pretty well i'm nc35 and mac so no complaints guys no complaints at all you need to see what you're looking for if you're looking for an everyday kind of a foundation which is very comfortable on the skin which gives a fresh nice hydrated finish then definitely you can go for this i'm actually quite excited to use this more with concealer as well in my tutorials in the future overall i think it's a great foundation guys and by using some other products along with this i think it will give a very nice dewy base it's a good foundation but you need to be clear about what you're looking for and that's it this was my review for k beauty hydrating foundation i really hope that you enjoyed watching this i know i was supposed to make the part two of the matte lipstick video which i did not but i had my reasons for it and that video will come out on my instagram handle so if you're not following me on my instagram handle then ensure that you do i do post some makeup related content on that handle how many times am i saying instagram handle but i do post some makeup related content there as well and if you haven't subscribed to our channels already then please subscribe to our channels we've got this channel where i post beauty content and we've got another channel where we post daily vlogs if you do like our content then please subscribe on that note i'm gonna sign off for now i shall see you in the next one guys take care of yourself and stay safe Bye bye Mwah.